This week, we're going to focus on some common lies people believe about God. God just wants me to be happy. Have you ever heard that one? In one way, it seems almost irrefutable. To say the opposite seems cruel. God doesn't want me to be happy? That doesn't seem right. But here's the thing. When do you hear people say this lie about God? It's when somebody wants to do something that is contrary to God's will for them. So if, if happiness involves hurting yourself or hurting others or, or uh, doing something that is not in line with God's plan for you as he lays, you, it lays it out for you in Scripture, then no, God doesn't want you to be happy. He wants you to have something so much more. In Mark 8, Jesus says, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself. Let's pause there. Deny self. Do you see what Jesus is asking? It's the hardest thing in the world. If Jesus had asked us to take a pilgrimage to the ends of the earth or walk over burning coals or join a monastery, all those things would have been easier. But deny self. That's hard because that means me saying, Jesus, your will, not my will for my life. He goes on to say, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his retirement home? No. His 401k plan? No. His preferences and opinions? No. His cross and follow me. To say that a a cross is hard would be an understatement. But it's so worth it because it keeps us focused on Jesus' cross. Listen to what God says in 1 Timothy. He says, this is good and pleases God our Savior who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Do you see what God wants? It's not that he doesn't want you to be happy. God wants you to be in heaven. If you want proof of that, just look at our Savior hanging on a cross, denying himself so that he could welcome us there. God doesn't want you to be happy. He wants you to be in heaven. And he's willing to do whatever it takes to get you there. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, teach me to deny myself. Take up my cross and follow you. Inspire me by your love for me on the cross to follow in your footsteps. Amen. If these messages are a blessing to you and your faith and you want more, we'd love to make it easy for you. You can just click this button right here to get connection to a YouTube subscription. Or if you want these devotions right into your inbox, you can click right here. YouTube here, email here. Email here, YouTube there. Click both these buttons. We'll give you as much Jesus as we can because we know that Jesus is all that we need.